Okay. We do it again. to turn the thing on makes all the tools in the nuts and bolts stand up and take notice in the shop man we putting out some voltage right here in our amps or whatever it is them julies i think a lot of them coming out of that charger right there 12 volt That's the first spark the engine has ever made.
make adjustment on it. You hear the snap. Your, 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 your magneto has to snap in order to pull away from them magnets right there. Um, and, and, and what, what, what I just did there with that adjustment, now once we, once we uh, do some adjustment on the timing, you... Uh, you're just in the run position, but you always remember start that thing in that start position. Ignition. adjustment on this timing and I do have a cotter on uh, stand back but if you didn't have a timing mark on your engine the way you would do it is the same way you do it if you have a timing mark and right here is the timing ignition, right there is the timing exhaust, and right in there on the block is the timing mark. So, when you're doing the timing, you, you, you set the uh, advance and retard lever there in the run position. And I, I, have, I got that test light right there hooked around there to that EK mag to know when it trips. So, and it's supposed to trip when this mark is straight down here. So I'll show you. Comes around on the compression stroke, which is right there. So it's coming up on compression. Right here's the timing mark coming this way. So when it comes all around there, so when it 
it comes on around there. Okay, you see it, you see it snap. I made adjustment on this tension on the pullback part of the reset mechanism there, the back part of it. But you can note the magneto tripped exactly right there, perfectly in line. And, and, and I have, I, then that, and that is I'll show you. All of them will be about that same adjustment back there. And and this being the throw coming here, the piston's coming forward, coming up on this. So if you don't have a timing mark, you just time it this many degrees off of dead center. Time it this many degrees before dead center or dead center, which would be when that keyway is perfectly back, back that way. So that's how many degrees that it fired off of dead before dead center. So the next revolution of the flywheel will adjust the exhaust valve. And I, and I done made the adjustment, but we'll do it and I'll show you. So you come on around, like this right here, uh, come past that come past that ignition because there ain't no compression to where it's exhaust straight down and then this 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 push rod here is just supposed to be leaving the tip of that rocker arm by that much right there like a sheet of paper that many thousands you know like something so I think we're good to go and that relates into dead and once again right on the money now let's look that spark plug okay that upside down spark plug right there we see we got a spark right there when we trip the magneto against compression over there with the plug in it and I should take that out easier to spin yeah okay I think we'll be all right in the spark department uh, the reason this cover that's on that, uh, that holds that linkage together right there. It has two marks in it right there, two hash marks. One there and one there. And uh, there's a reason for them. There's two on the cover that's on there. Uh, quite interesting. I'll show you what it's for. It's to verify that all your gear train is in correct mesh. So what, what you do is you come around I oh, went too far well I have to have the I have to have the plug in it so I know when it comes on compression okay so it's coming up on compression and and when you come around there 
and the mag trips right then, and and that ignition is perfectly straight down. There may be some camera angle there, but it's straight down, <laughs> pretty good. And uh, it tripped right on time. So uh, what them two marks on that cover is for is if you if you take a straight edge, something straight, and you line them two marks up like this. See right there's a the mark, and up there's the other one. If you line those up like that, it comes out up there to the, it lines up with the oil hole in your EK Magneto. These two marks down here, line them up, and it comes out with that oil hole. It's in the book. Look it up. That way you know all of your gear train is in correct mesh. Tennessee to geographical center of something. Uh, Y'all come on back. We're going to start this engine up in a few days. <laughs> 